Hello again and welcome back down on the farm at Bjornholm for episode 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. <coughs> now, after our harvest of sugar beet and finishing off on field, what do we do? 23 as well. The harvester needed a serious clean. It is filthy. So, give that a quick wash and the other bits of equipment I've been using before we start anything on the episode today. Um, the T8 needs a good wash. As I said, off screen I've been whizzing around cultivating a lot of the fields and getting some fertiliser on them. So that needs doing too, as does the cultivator. The Lemken Gigant, I think it is. Uh, it's the big one. Um, so we're going to jump in this, park it up in the barn, uh, ready for the next time it's needed. It's quite long, so I'm not sure if it'll fit in here without taking the header off. Might do, but we'll see. Yeah, it might fit. Yep, it's undercover. Apart from that gaping great hole in the roof, but you know, as undercover as it needs to be. Right, I'm always down and move the New Holland T8 forward. Get that cultivator cleaned, and then the Sammy's behind it. I was using the Sammy with the um, fertilizer spreaders, so that made a bit of a clean off too. A bit of housekeeping will be done, and then we can get on with the episode. Yeah, what I'm going to do is whiz down to the dairy farm. Um, probably buy a few more cows, not many, maybe just five more, um, and then do a bit of a topping up of feed for the cows. Um, they're fine for a few days, but um, to be fair, they could probably just do a topping up, so they've got enough in there. speed this process along. As you can see, absolutely filthy. There are a few tractors that I do like. I've said it before, I think I said it on my tractor buyer's guide, I've said it on various different times. Um, I love that Sammy tractor and I love the Deutzfahr. They're brilliant tractors, good all-rounders. Right down at the dairy farm the cows are eating the cows are there i can't remember how many i had all together anyway did i buy some more recently um how many have i got let's have a look oh 30 that's more than i thought i had actually i thought i only had 25 20 25 30 i'll get five more and there we go and we'll jump in the feeder wagon the self-propelled one go and grab some silage stick some silage in the troughs and then we'll do some mixed ration and then some grass and straw just top everything up uh oh, okay i haven't got any in storage but i do have two fields that are ready to go 20 and 13 and 14 that I combined together was canola on one real time and that said it lasted for 12 hours was it? I think it was 12 hours so unfortunately I apologise I'm going to scrap my initial plans of feeding the cows and I'm going to crack on with the canola harvest just get this one done so we'll get the header on and we'll get cracking on this one. Once I get to a point I can leave a worker on this, I will whiz up and get the case axial flow. We'll bring that down as well. Uh, and then when that's going, we'll whiz up and we'll get a tractor and trailer or possibly the truck and trailer. So I'm thinking there's going to be a fair bit of this. I hope there'll be a fair bit of this. It's going to take a little while, so I'm going to speed a few bits up. Oh, 
1,600, yeah, 12 hours. Okay, that's not bad. Get it done, get it sold. Unfortunately, it does mean that's another field, or another two sets of fields, or three actually, because I combined some, which are going to be empty. <laughs> I really do need to get some seeding done. Um, I do still have my fields that have got the maize in, but that's it. I will only have maize crops after this, nothing else. Oh, I say that, nothing else. I think I might have wheat actually over in 35. I think I've got wheat in. Yeah, because that was the one I was going to uh, harvest and leave the straw swaths for the dairy farm. So, I will, yeah, I've got a wheat harvest, but that's it, nothing else. No sugar wheat back in the ground, no barley, um, only one wheat, no potatoes done yet. So I think after this canola is done and sold, I may have to have a bit of a a bit of a splurge on seeding, uh, and maybe even get the potato stuff. Maybe sell a bit more silage as well, so I can buy a potato harvester. Because that's going to be knocking on 500,000, I would imagine. Um, yeah, get some potatoes done as well. Why not? Right, let's hook this up. Get this down to the field and get it going as well. I'm going to get it down there, that tip in the, uh, the header over. Made it here safe and sound. Right, let's get it turned on and let's get going. As I have been doing quite a lot on these, because of the fields and the way they're laid out now, I've been trying to get that rectangle, that higher worker rectangle, so I can get the worker going up and go and move vehicles and get trailers to unload and whatnot. Uh, look at them both going in tandem. I was initially going to get two identical, get another New Holland, because I do like the New Holland harvesters, but for the interest of keeping things a little bit different, I'm having two different harvesters and look pretty cool, so hence the two different sorts of harvester. Right, I'm going to go with the truck and trailer combo. I'm thinking what I might do as well, because it would be very unusual for the truck to go onto the field, the truck would be used for carting to the sell point to wherever it's going to go to. I might pick up the auger trailer, the auger wagon, and use that with the tractor and whiz around the field with the auger wagon and then go to the edge of the field and load up the truck and trailer. I might do that. I haven't really done the auger thing before. Um, when I got the Homer DLC and I bought the Terra variant with the grain trailer and stuff, I did that a little bit and used that as an, an auger wagon. Um, but it's an expensive way of doing it buying the Terra variant in the first place and then buying the grain trailer that goes with it and the grain trailer capacity is not that big to be fair um, just buying an auger trailer would probably be a lot cheaper um, chase a bin whatever it is you want to call it right while that one's finishing off that field I'll whiz over and make a start on this tidying up the edges and trying to get my rectangle I'll speed this up just a tad But it's going right so far. Quite sure how much. It's the only downside to canola. It pays a lot, good money for it, but even when you fertilise the field and you're getting that double yield on it, you don't get a huge amount of it. You have to plant a lot of canola to get a lot of crop. Um, so yeah, not a huge amount from this, unfortunately. But, with great demand, it should pay out a nice little bit. Bring that money in the bank account up a bit. To help pay for all the goodies we need. I think I have come to the decision, I was talking about it in yesterday's episode I think, 
that I might do Sosnovska um, as a let's play or gameplay series. Um, I think I'm going to. Um, kind of decision I came to roughly on my own. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do a gameplay series on Sosnovska. Just to mix up a little bit for myself as well as, as anything else. Just to have a different map to play on as well. Um, yeah, how I'm going to tackle it, don't know yet. I did talk about various different options. So we'll see. Right, so that's that field done. Carry on with a bit of trimming around on this one. Give myself a bit of space, turn in circles and whatnot. And uh, hopefully get some unloading done. Let's get some unloading done. Wait for him to go by. He's not quite full yet, so. It's really annoying. Not annoying, frustrating, what you want to say. Whenever I use these harvesters, I try and adjust the nozzles on the end of the pipe so they're pointing straight down. Every time you then go back to using the back pointing out again. It's a little thing, I know, but... One of my little bugbears. And I have a few. He is now finally full. Smaller tank capacity on the case, it's only 12,000 something. 12,500. And I think the uh, New Holland CR 1090 is 14,500. So a little bit of difference in capacity. I've got to adjust that nozzle. <laughs> so then, not having the auto help on, it becomes a bit of a fishing trip. I'm just Bouncing around different. Do I do it from the harvester or from the. Well, it won't be from the header setting. Why is that not adjusting? There we go. It's because I had it set on worker, that's why. <laughs> We are getting fuller with that trailer. These two harvesters and half make light work of the fields is pretty good. It would be interesting at some point to have enough money to buy a third harvester, but that's only really going to work. I think on a map like Sosnovska, something like that, where you've got some of those real big wide open fields. Um, some of these where I've combined them end up being quite large, but having three harvesters run at the same time might be quite interesting. I mean, you really would clear the fields really super quick, but and you would be hauling backwards and forwards constantly. Something to aim for. So whether or not I can get any of these things achieved or done before Farming Simulator 17 comes out. Right, pull this out of the way. Not quite full, but not far off. It's a good view. Harvester in the distance.
and now I'm only doing half of the, the, uh, the header width I'm just trying to tidy up this edge just so I can then set worker um, as I said before doing rectangle, square, whatever shape it is but just so I can uh, set a worker on it because I think I'm going to be full in that truck before very long and I'm going to need to whiz off to sell it so I need to be able to leave both harvesters going <coughs> excuse me let's take another strip in here another headland because when they're going up and down they get in front of these houses they're going to need a bit of turning room especially the case it's got that long uh, auger pipe otherwise we'll be taking out people's windows garages, chimneys, you name it Right, back onto the up and down. Right, so this should be it then. Unload him, or semi, and I don't think he'll take all of it, but he might take most of it. And then we can go and sell this first load and see what we're going to get for our great demand. Spread that load, don't want it uneven, toppling me over on the way there. That's frustrating, still not quite there. <laughs> 53,000 litres. It does take 59. I mean, I could whiz off and do it now, but I'd, I'd rather do it with a full load. So, whiz down and unload the New Holland. Right, this really should definitely be it. It's going to be a heavy old load. Just trying to think to get to the freight yard where the uh, great demand is. A couple of. Depends which way I go, we've got a nasty hills. So. I think even though the, the truck's designed to pull this trailer, it's going to struggle. Right, that's us full. Cover on. Don't want to lose any of it. Pull that to one side and get the harvester back on the field. And then we'll take that off. See what we get. Reap the rewards of our efforts. Right, get those beacons on and off we go. The wizardry of filming. Right, let's unload this and see what we're looking at. Uh, 
That is going up quick. $95,000 for one load. Not bad. Send the train off. Get our double whammy. So we should get a nice little bit on top as well. See what that comes out at. Well, that was knocking on, so I think 65,000 extra on top, weren't we? On 462, yeah. So, what are we looking at for that load? 160,000 for that load? That's not bad for one trailer load, $160,000. Wow. Okay, so only little bits left now. Um, we will make the auger pipe arch and unload both these at the same time and that's that done all those fields complete we'll get the lorry off sell that last load while the demand's still on I mean the demand's still going to be on for quite a while but not bad for a day's work just fill up Yeah, I think driving the truck and trailer onto the field is probably not. Even though the um, the Tatra has got those kind of off-roady kind of tyres on it, you wouldn't normally take a truck and trailer onto the field. So I think definitely an auger wagon's in, in order. Um, yeah, why not? You know, make it a little bit interesting. Well, not a bad little bit in there. What we got? One's done. Other one's done. Just short 19,000 litres. That's all right. So, busy episode. Not quite what I was anticipating doing, but, you know while the need's there and you can make a bit of money why not 29,000 that's not bad at all send the train off as well get every penny we can possibly get right well hope you've enjoyed the episode wasn't quite what we intended doing but we have finished off the episode on 513,000. Nice chunk of money there for that canola. Um, yeah, so next episode, maybe we'll get down to the dairy farm. Who knows? Whatever we end up doing, hope you come again and watch the next episode. Thanks for watching.